Hello there everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of us playing Vanilla Hoy 4 as the Kingdom of Norway last time. Well, we got a lot of territory, Greenland, Iceland, parts of uh, this area over here, not Finland yet, and even parts of Sweden, but this is where we're at. I sacrificed part of uh, the territory that we own, I mean, Cord, um, so I have a better defensive line, we've lost 23,000. Um, where are they? Sweden? They're in the... Okay, so I had to do a couple of funky things here. I did have to use cons commands. Because originally Sweden was a part of the... Which nation wasn't the Axis? I don't think they were part of the Axis. So then I made sure that they got out of the faction. But then they joined the Canadian faction. But with Unitary Canada. So... Yeah, things aren't super great here. But we're still going on and see what we can do. Hopefully we can muster up uh, a lot of strength here and whatnot. So... Here, just give him a place. Um, because we are attempting to uh, probably crush them. So now, that's good. And we'll see how far we can get with uh, what we're doing right now. Oh, do we actually beat up the tanks? Nice. Do you have any upgrades for us? No. It's alright. What else do you expect? Oh. Diversify elite forces? Sure. As we're trying to build an independent Norway right now, too. The Norwegian state in its current form, uh, independent form, has only existed since 1905, so there's a lot of nation building work to do, especially in an industry which would be vital to our independence. Uh, convoys, research, speed. This would be good, dude. Norwegian School of Economics. If we hope to establish ourselves in the world economy, expertise is needed, and that takes time to build. Founding in Norge's Handelsschool, our national school of economics, is the first step in order for our civilian, later military industry to flourish. The goal is to hopefully encircle and destroy, but there's no guarantee for that. There's never a guarantee for that. Where are you guys going? Oh! Oh, there goes those guys. Happy 1940, everybody. Down to the North American Entente. Well, alright then. Good, good, good. Uh, we're not gonna do that because we'll see what happens. 1940. Good. You do whatever you need to. Very nice. And now we're finally doing okay. Stockholm will be ours. And if the beast still fires and we don't get everything that we want, um, well, we make a couple changes here then, aren't we? Because we certainly go to War with Finland too, so. It is 19. Hello. Can I. Just spam, please? 75 days. We'll see what happens. They should capitulate within 75 days, right? At this point, I think they're pretty much out of strength. They lost 84,000. We're not in any faction of our own. Well, actually, we're in our own faction. Oh, they're out of manpower. That helps. With up to 18 divisions left. Help out here. Oh, we yeah. go. Sure, why not? Gun stuff. Uh, there you go. Could use another research slot, in all honesty. That'd be nice. They're still moving up that way. Ensuring eh? War of Independence. Not good for Japan, but we don't care. Good. Region School of Economics. Um, the Royal Guard Battalion. Special Force Multiple. Multiple capacity multiplier, huh? Empower large industrial groups. Uh, probably this one. Fun local construction. 
Towns all across Norway can benefit from local factories and experience a boom in their economics or economies of construction incentivized. Must collaborate with regional representatives to offer the right incentives for equal distribution of success. Yeah, why not? Oh my god, how much more? Jesus Christ, 95% of the way there. They have mechanized too, huh? We're really doing the fourth international, not very surprising. Artillery improvements, good. Anti air improvements would be nice as well. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Next time I do this, I gotta make sure that no one joins each other's factions or joining factions is not allowed. I think that'd be helpful. Because I never use uh, historical, or uh, I use historical. Um, I remember because of reasons like this. Because it's very annoying. Very, very annoying. That's why I don't like playing uh, vanilla a whole, a whole lot. Uh, construction speed. Still mobilizing. Still mobilizing. That's good. Um, or economy. Why not? That's so much more now. 99% of the way there. We get size goes up by one, that's nice. That should seal the deal. One more VP from them, yes please. So now does that give us nothing here? We need to control all Swedish states, so I will have to do some funky stuff to make sure they get out of their factions so we can actually get them, so we can do whatever we need to do here, and get Finland out of the faction so we can actually go to war with and them too. And here we are everyone with the Kingdom of the Scandinavia. We formed the Union, we got cores now, we're still at war with those Canadian people, but it doesn't matter. As you can see, the supply is not super great all over the place, but I want to see what we can do when we go to war with uh, Finland. And the, they join the Commonwealth of Nations, which is honestly fine with me. Um, let's see if we can actually do anything here, because they get, of course, quite a few buffs. And I'm not going to say it's unfair, but it's not really that fair. So. Uh, they immediately start attacking us. This isn't their core territory. I'll let, I'll let them come in too. So, since uh, I don't really want them to move around too much. Can we just clip them here? Keep them there? We still have uh, volunteers from the USR. So, anti tank. Uh, we'll go here. And here you go. Better anti air, yes. Can you at least help out? Because they will be attacking us like crazy. Uh, is that a supply base it took? Oh, no, it's, it's cut off. You know, don't even worry about it. You are just here to hold. All right now, I want to get up to here if possible. Petsama would be a great thing to have. Now we're fighting Finns on their own core territory, and they're really entrenched, but it looks like it doesn't matter. Nice, that's good. Mm. Supplies is going to be a big issue fight coming through this way. Uh, in the meantime... Oh. Maybe ships? Maybe ships. Um, oh, White Death embraces us. Despite our soldiers' best efforts, White Death is far from being captured and has terrorized our soldiers for months. With our officers having nothing to show for it, as this goes on, our soldiers waver and their morale is plummeted. This is bad. Well, that's nice. Fuel, huh? Some sort of fuel for us. Alright, what else we got here? We need to build faster, anyways. Might as well. Mm hmm. Well. Alpine Confederation. Beating the crap out of the horses, good. How much manpower does Finland actually have? Uh, have a decent amount. Can't see their stockpiles, you know what, since we're here. We're an intelligence agency. Anyways, E. Jensen? Very good, very good. Just don't move around too much, just go in. 
uh, finish pressure to control the flux of iron ore. The Republic of Finland has been leaning on us regarding their iron ore production. They are concerned with the rising global tensions, and they see themselves as the most capable military nation in the Nordics. As such, they request to control the resources of northern states, but both so that they may protect them, but also so that the resources they harbor can be best put to use for the war effort. No means opposed their demands. Finland becomes owner of Finnmark. Will defend Norwegian sovereignty over these territories? Uh, well, I guess we should have waited for them to go to war with us, I guess. Oh well. That's not a supply base. There's literally, like, no supply bases up here. Except up here. And there's literally nothing. It's so fighting without supply. In this case, I'm gonna throw a port right here. Fight while we still have supply for now. On local constructions. Oh, that'd be pretty good. Let's get this one. Aluminum production. The production of aluminum is an extremely power-intensive process, and though we lack a bauxite deposits, the Norwegian topography is ideal for hydroelectric production. So we could easily import a bauxite and turn it into a valuable resource for our nascent military industry. Hmm. Screens anti-air. Screens light attack. Screens anti-air. Doesn't really matter too much, in all honesty. More production costs, but better breakthrough? Sure. Can you go just straight across? If you could, that'd be fantastic. Because at this point, they're bleeding into here, which is fine, which extends their forces quite a bit. No, it's all front line, which is what I wanted originally. But then we're gonna have another force here too, eventually. Finish multi tactics. No. Finnish ships have begun implementing multi tactics in the Lapi area. Multi tactics are a devastating technique in which to finish forces. And circle enemy troops and cut off the supply lines, leaving them vulnerable to attack. This makes invading forces highly vulnerable to finish offensives. And must take swift action to prevent them from getting the upper hand if we want to push into Finland, stay vigilant and prepare for battle. Huh. Makes sense. Beat up those horses. When you go here, I want you to hold. Because all three divisions are going to attack here and they'll destroy that other one, hopefully. Hey, oh, America, you want to. Alright, America, I love it. Let's do it. take a small little invasion first, shall we? So that's fine. I like adaptable. It's a good one to have. Um, Complex heritage, position, officer corps, cavalry attack. Honestly, none of these really wow me. Logistical focus. Division speed. Organization loss. Flex of Officers. Officers Academy. That's pretty good. You know what? If anything, I'll probably choose this one. Go Infiltration Assault. Supply, which sucks. So I'm not down here. I mean, is really not going up at all, which is good to see. Thank God we got volunteers from the Soviet Union until they get attacked. Okay, I guess we just have to do this then.
I want a supply up there, but at this point, you might not even get to it. I've got a supply up here, though, which is very good. Turkey, yes. We'll take some stuff. Anti-air, yes. Well, I guess if they don't want to protect their lands, I'm kind of okay with that. They're still all stuck down here, too, so... Okay, I'm not sure where their divisions are at, but okay. Finnish weapon caches in Lappi. Our intelligence services report that Finnish weapon caches are hidden in Lappi. We expect military operations there to be significantly hindered, and we must watch out for more aggressive tactics by the local resistance. Depending on the perceived success of these operations, we may find similar surprises in other Finnish states. A few to measure. Search for weapon caches. Our troops will conduct a thorough investigation of the weapon fin Finnish weapons cache case in Lappi and order look and see the weapons caches in the state. Okay, why not? Anything else here? Belgium for I did choose this person for more intelligence. Just and we get more initiative. Just to try it out because I usually don't do that. So more initiative. Let's recover faster, shall we? I think that'd be a great thing to do. Hey, we do, we did it. Nice, good job, guys. Turkey. Well. Not sure where the Finnish military is at, but okay. Uh, this is not good. Are these guys out of manpower already, or what's going on? Uh, rebuild or revamp hydroelectric capacity. Aluminum is vital for the construction of airplanes and other implements of war, uh, but the amount of energy required uh, to process the bauxite and aluminum it makes it a costly process. Fortunately for us, Kingdom of Scandinavia is a perfect topography for turning your lake, many lakes and rivers into hydroelectric dams so we can produce the aluminum needed despite not having any large deposits of bauxite. Build the Northern Rail. Too long has the northern part of our country been neglected. Uh, though the terrain makes building infrastructure a complicated endeavor, it's an effort that we're sure to pay dividends in the future. We're doing alright. We're doing better than I thought we would. Finland was pretty... We made it pretty tough to break when we played them before on this channel, but still. If you could hurry up and just... Cut across here. I don't think you'll be able to, but that would be fantastic if you could. Hold and retreat. Oh, that's got so close. Uh, I'm going to assume they're out of stuff. anti commentary pact. Do you ever propose that we sign a address a pact to sign a address the commentary's goal of spreading communism worldwide, though these are subversions and violence? By signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation against the menace. Uh, probably not. Just because, uh, I don't think we could want their cores and whatnot. Ooh. That might have pissed them off a little bit too much then. We're doing way better than I thought we would. Draku? Hmm. Oh, they're really stacked there. Wow, they're really beefy boys. Okay, interesting. Better radar? And even better radar after that? So we've lost 33,000. They've lost 68,000 to us. It's pretty good overall. Better than I thought it would be. Well, since we're here, finish resistance stuff, improve working conditions, sure, why not? Beatings will continue until morale improves, you know? Pretty normal. And we have a cup of coffee here too. Gives us nice and warm. Hmm. 
This would have been nice if I looked at this earlier. Expand Harren. But well, we're going to build the Northern Rail first. And then maybe uh, do complete the Southern Railway Network. Even though the southern part of Norway is, less, is leaps and bounds more developed than the northern part, if we start comparing its infrastructure with other presidents in the countries, even neighboring ones, it's clear that there's much left to be done. Finish weapon caches, season Lappi. Look at that. Fantastic. Following those 10 reports of finished weapon caches in Lappi, our troops have been sweeping the area. The report finding caches buried beneath buildings, and sconched in fallen trees, and sunken in lakes, wrapped in oil bags. We have seized those we found. We do not believe there are to be any more, at least not for numbers we need to care about. Excellent news. Good, but do not bother me with more weapon caches. I love weapon caches. It's basically free stuff. I love free stuff. So supply is really bad around here, but we got supply through here. The next supply point right there. Oh, well, there goes our volunteers to help us out. That's not good. That's the case. Uh, I'm going to through here then. Good. We need this tile here. We gotta wait to get this tile here first. Alright, going over with Communist China. Sounds good to us. It is February, which sucks. Here, here. That would be probably the smart thing to do. Um, we cut them off here. They still have two rail lines there. Um, yeah. It's fortunate that we don't have the rail lines up here too. Yeah. Percent more. It's pretty good. I like this one. Yeah, I'll get more stability, anyways. If you can't win there, then we won't win there. Fine. That's all for now. Let's see. It looks like we might be stuck up here for a while. Especially in the center region. It really sucks. But we gotta have this tile. Sure, America, thanks. Finish atomic bombs? I think so, yeah. Excuse me, go this way, ding dongs. How's the Germans doing? Ah, oh, they find the Poles, and the Poles are yeah, they're putting up a fight. The Germans are winning though. Good. There you go. Now he's gonna wait for supply to filter through here, which will help out everyone up through here. And that'll make sure that they don't have enough supply too. Well, they might not get enough supply eventually. Give a little more time first. Xing Chun is gone, that's good, it's nice. Good. Ah, there we go, that's better. Oh my god, that's so much better. 
All right, so where do we got these guys? Cool. He's gonna go there immediately. Mm -hmm. Better planes, huh? I like them heavy. Oops. Aluminum and tons of rubber. Oh, finally joined the axis, huh? Good for you. Uh. Okay. Uh. Wait. Around there. Here, we could probably go here and do this. It's April now. This won't be as cold. And though we should technically be a youth. youth? Used to fighting in the cold ish areas. Good of awesome. And then fully decrypted, that's nice. Search for weapon caches. War in the skies, an effort to improve public opinion towards our war effort. A propaganda minister selected the exceptional cinematic production of War in the Skies to sublime viewing. Experience with a strong patriotic sentiment for screening across the country, of course. Well, the Herald's the beginning of a long. And storied tradition for a patriotic film industry, the results have so far been excellent. A masterpiece. Fantastic. Bulgarian reintegration, eh? Nice. Very good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Ah, they're attacking us. Look at that. Interesting. We're gonna go in. Sure, hungry, sure. If you have stuff to spare while you're at war, I'm okay with that. Just go and take it around all the coast. To Helsinki we go. Helsinker. Yeah, they just leave the capital completely open and undefended. I love it. Extra factories... Sure. Yeah, that's about doomed for them. This over here was a big old stalemate, but... Oh, we got to go there. Yeah, go to Vipuri. I got him. Look at that. That looks pretty beautiful. But, oh, now we can proclaim Nordic Unity. Who knows the Nordic League? The Nordic League. Now we could restore the Nazi Empire, but I don't really want to do that. I don't really feel like going to war with the Germans in this campaign. They're very strong, and I don't know. we got other plans we can do for later. Look at that. Look, like Nordic League. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. It sucks we can't get another research slot. Is there another way we can get a research slot? Structure. I'll get one down here, I guess. Huh? It takes so long to get down to, though. Eh, maybe not super long, but still. Unification of the Nordics. With the conquest of all the nations belonging to the Nordic region, the Norwegian government now has now begun moving, increasing moves towards the integration of the newly conquered territories. As a result, in an attempt to rally the people behind the state, there has been an increase in pan national propaganda with clear support from the government. Our Norwegian officials quoted saying the Nordic countries have always felt a strong kinship to each other. It's only natural that they should be unified and that our people should coexist side by side as one. I fear the government has resolved to use this kinship as a way of unifying the people, and now proclaim true Nordic unity, renaming the country to the Nordic League. The unified North will stand strong, which I think looks pretty good overall. Um, I think I might just leave it there, though. I don't really want to take out England. I mean, we could. We really wanted to. Um, at this point, we're, we're pretty we're pretty strong. Are we the strongest? No, but what else are you expect in the Scandinavian region? And we're all the way over here, too, which is kind of cool, actually. Oh, wait, we have claims over here? Oh, then, oh, then that's... I'd love to have Leningrad as a core state, because that'd be really great, but... Like I said, I think I'll leave it there because we have other um, nations, other campaigns to play as Norway and maybe even Denmark, Finland, Sweden, and I'm not assigned a country too. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.